DaVinci Resolve 18 is out with a gang of new features, including cloud collaboration, HDR color wheels, a surface tracking overlay, and enhanced subtitles, just to name a few. And guess what? You want to try it on your Linux box? Cool. But before we do anything, let's take a look at the system requirements. DaVinci Resolve is designed to run on CentOS 7.3 and expects 32GB of RAM, a discrete GPU, no APU or iGPU, and the closed source binary drivers from AMD or NVIDIA. Personally, I recommend Debian 11 with NVIDIA. It's not impossible to run DaVinci Resolve with an AMD GPU, but you're going to have to dig through a 41-page form spread in order to do so. DaVinci Resolve comes in two flavors, free and studio. Here's some things that you should know. Only also support, no jack. VST plugins do not work in Fairlight. Only the comically overpriced Fairlight desktop console works as a control surface. Speed Editor does work. Online integrations, YouTube, Vimeo, they don't work under Linux. DaVinci Resolve does not import or export AAC, free version, or studio. Studio does import and export MP3s, and Studio also imports and exports MPEG Layer 4 and MPEG Layer 5. The first thing we need to do is check our sources.list. Double check that contrib and non-free are enabled, and if they're not, make sure you add them. After that, run sudo app update. Next, we're going to install the needed dependencies. Fake root, Zor ISO, NVIDIA driver, NVIDIA OpenCLI CD, libcuda, libnvidia encode 1. Once that is finished, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and reboot the system. Let's head over to the DaVinci Resolve download page. You have two options. You have free and studio. If you're installing studio, you can bypass the registration by selecting download only at the bottom. I'm going to save the zip file in the resolve directory that I've created in my downloads folder. Up next is make resolve dab. I'm going to download the tar.gz to the same folder as DaVinci Resolve. From the Resolve folder, we unzip DaVinci Resolve with the unzip command. Then we untar make resolve dem using tar xf. In the directory, you'll see the DaVinci Resolve.run and the make resolve dab.sh. Now we can run make resolve dab and tell it to use our DaVinci Resolve run file. After that is finished, you will have a DaVinci Resolve Debian package ready to go. So we're going to install that with apt install. If everything went smoothly, you should now have a DaVinci Resolve icon on your desktop. Giving that a click should result in a happy little splash screen. We can give everything a quick click through. We have the media page, that nobody uses this page, the edit page, fusion page, color page, useless without VST support page, and of course, our deliver page. I've used Resolve since 2019 to create hundreds of videos, yes, it might cost $300 and comes with a few limitations, but it is hands down the fastest, most stable, nonlinear video editor available on Linux. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you learned something. And as always, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you want to support quality guides like this, become a patron over at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. By becoming a patron, you'll get access to our Discord, behind-the-scene videos, your name in the credits, and a gang of other things as a thank you 